it's James McKenzie, Senior Product Manager with OVH Cloud. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can set up a vRising server using an OVH VPS or bare metal machine. Let's go ahead and get started. Once you have your service delivered, so in my case, I went with a VPS Essential 28160 that required an upgrade because you need the Windows license in order to run vRising. Uh, you can also do this with a bare metal server. Either way, you can rename your service. The uh, way to do it's pretty similar on both uh, services like I'm doing here. Next, you're going to want to go into your KVM. And from your KVM, that is where you're going to finish the install of Windows. So you're going to enable the user account to log in using a remote desktop service. I'm going to use Microsoft for remote desktop. So you'll fill out the password here that you want to use. Enter it again, click finish, and then you should be prompted with the login screen. Uh, from there, I'm going to exit the KVM and just go right away uh, into my Microsoft Remote Desktop tool. So I already pre-filled this, but you can go in, uh, add your IP address of the machine that you're using, and you can give it a friendly name such as vRising, easy to remember. In this case, I'm gonna put in the administration uh, name, so administrator, and password that we just created a second ago. Uh, so now that it's done, you can accept the certificate and continue and then connect to the virtual desktop or remote desktop. All right, so once you're in, uh, you might want to install some different software depending on what you prefer. In my case, I'm going to install the browser of my choice as well as the notepad or note editor or text editor of my choice. I'm gonna go with notepad plus plus. I'm not gonna go through the install steps there. It's pretty straightforward. I'm, Sure, you can figure that part out. Uh, so you're going to want to install Steam CMD. Steam CMD is a CLI tool that's going to allow you to install game servers of your choice. Uh, in this case, vRising. So you can go to their website. You can click on the link that's available there, which is going to give you a direct download to Steam CMD for Windows. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called Steam CMD. I'm going to keep it extremely simple for this video. Uh, but you can put it wherever you want and, you know, use any kind of folder paths that you want to use. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and move the Steam CMD folder to your Steam CMD folder you just created. Uh, you can extract it there and you're going to see uh, once you hit extract all, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that uh, kind of populates here. Now you have the executable file so you can launch the application for Steam CMD and this is going to install CMD on your machine. Uh, so this might take a few minutes. I'm going to speed up all the downloads on here just so that uh, I don't waste any of your time while watching the video. So this won't take too long once uh, all of the extraction is done and you have the Steam CMD application installed. You're going to be able to log in as anonymous. That is the default um, anonymous user instead of using your actual Steam account. Uh, luckily, Steam has this uh, enabled so that you can do this without having to always log into your own account. So go ahead and log in to anonymous. I'm going to be writing out all of these steps in the description below. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to ping me on Discord or anywhere uh, that I have my contact information available. Uh, so now you're going to want to actually install the game server. In this case, you can do app update and the game server ID. All of this can be found on either the Steam site for the game or the actual GitHub for uh, vRising. So the game code is 1829350. And then you can hit up or you can hit enter and that's going to start the install and you'll see that the uh, folder is going to populate with all of the fun stuff that you need to get started. Uh, so you can go in there and then you can go into the readme file. This is going to contain a link to the GitHub and that's going to have instructions on how you can manage the server, what kind of applications or sorry, what kind of configurations you can set up and, and all that fun stuff. I'm not going to go through everything that's in here. I'm just going to show you how to get started as quickly as possible. Uh, there's also instructions on how you can set up the Archon tools and get connected there, which is going to help you manage and maintain the server quite a bit easier with, you know, banning people, setting admins, running commands, all that kind of thing. And you'll just have a better overall experience on managing the machine if you're planning on uh, doing this for multiple people. If it's just you and a couple friends or something playing, I wouldn't necessarily say you need to do this, but uh, the Archon tool is always great to have. 
Uh, so here going through this, you'll see all of the different types of settings you'll see in what kind of folders you'll see them in. Uh, we're going to go ahead into those in a second and uh, make some modifications. So you'll go into the streaming assets here, into the settings, and then from the settings you'll see four files. There's the admin list where you'd put the admin Steam ID, the ban list where you'd ban people, and then the server game settings. So this is where you can modify things like making the game PvE versus PvP, and changing a whole bunch of values so you know like how much loot you get, how much uh, whatever other kind of tables you can get in this game. And then you would want to also modify the server settings so this is where you can name the server and uh, kind of specify the ports, descriptions, and uh, set a password ultimately. So if you wanted to make this a private server, uh, you can set a password for it. Uh, now remember the ports that you added there because there's one last step in order to make this server joinable by you and your friends or your community or whoever is going to be playing on here. Uh, so you're going to want to go into the Windows firewall settings and from there you can add a new rule that is going to allow users to connect to your server. So you're going to want to go into the advanced settings, uh, create a new rule, so I think that's right up here, click new rule and then you're gonna to wanna to specify the ports that you're going to allow. So I left mine the default ports. If you modified them, just remember what you modified them to and add them here. Uh, this is gonna be UDP for the traffic going into this game. The majority of games uh, are UDP with some exceptions. So you can add those ports that we mentioned earlier here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to allow the connections. You can modify these settings as you like. I'm not uh, giving you any advice on the firewall settings here. I just want to make sure that people are able to join your server and then give it a name. As always, I give it a friendly one, V Rising. Next, you're gonna be able to go back into the folder and just click on the world executable. It's a batch script that's in there and that's going to launch the server and then you can get connected. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope it helped. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to me via Discord, Twitter, anywhere else you can find me if you have anything at all or need uh, any advice on how to set this up. Thanks very much. Have a great rest of your day.